Emptying Flags is a um, project in which I attempt to create a series of flags that are completely unrecognisable. So it's more or less about trying to find a way of opening a space of borderlessness. I make the flags all myself. It's a little like having a one-person flag factory, this labour that would usually be outsourced. When I, when I make the flags, I draw on a system of symbols that belong to the history of modern flags. I have a number of different options for each pattern and I throw a dice. There are, at the moment, seven at Halsam Kölnischen Park. There are three at near Treptower Park in the abandoned land next to the Spree. There are two in a wedding near Leopoldplatz. And this is Sportforum Berlin, so it's the place where the German Olympic athletes, most of them, train. And there will be 11 here. In this case, I started thinking carefully about what it means to be part of a team. And also in terms of the history of the Olympics, which is something that's very strongly associated actually with the history of the nation state and outsourcing war in some ways as well. Generally, this moment when you put up a flag, I guess it's kind of special, like you see it unfold and it's like a form of undoing of territoriality. The reaction of people to the flags is, well, it's kind of difficult to know what people think. One man came up to me and asked me if it was an Iranian flag, and then I said, no, the flag has no meaning. And I said to him, what do you think? And he said, oh, I'm Kurdish, and I understand. And then he walked away. And then two minutes later, an older German guy came up and also asked me, what are these things? And I said to him, same thing, these are flags haben keine Bedeutung. There's, there's no meaning to the flags, they're not drawing a border of any form. And he sort of threw up his hands in disgust and said, yeah, Deutschland had keine Grenzen, so wie so Germany doesn't have any borders anyway. And he walked away as well. And you can't really control the sort of the reactions that are elicited by the flags. And I can't really say that they're a form of propaganda. I can't say that they are telling people to feel like, oh, you know, we live in this big world where everyone is one and we're all happy because actually borderlessness as an applied situation today is a catastrophic one. You have refugees, you have tax havens, you have um, different forms of economic exploitation and then of course you also have different types of racism that arise out of this situation so I can't, I think the flags are kind of ambiguous or neutral or something like they can't, they don't refer to a utopia or a dystopia but perhaps both.